Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We were all meant to shine as children do. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same as we are liberated from our own fear. Our presence automatically liberates others. Coach, Red's going back in, man. Not a quarterback. I can't make that pitch, Coach. Yes, you can. When I was 15 years old, I lost my mother and my father in the same month. Same month. Twelve brothers and sisters, I was the youngest one, but they were all looking up to me. Now, I wasn't ready yet either, but they needed me. Your team needs you tonight. You're the colonel. You're going to command your troops tonight. You understand? Twins right, 48-0 read. Let's go. There's not a person on my team in 16 years that has consistently beaten to the ball every play. That ain't got nothing to do with talent. That's just got everything to do with effort. Nothing else. 15 straight years. 12 Pro Bowls later. If you want numbers. I done saw all of it. And the only thing that's kept me around is my effort. So when you put on this, all I ever knew, because I wasn't a number one recruit, I wasn't a number one linebacker, I wasn't even an immediate guy. All I ever knew was effort will get me seen on tape. Effort will get me noticed to get to the league. Effort would one day take care of my mom and my kid. Effort. Which is between you and you. Nobody else can give you that. Effort is with the side. It's about a heartbeat. That beats the storm. It's about a culture that is unyielding. And I want you men to know today is your hour. It is your time. It is your moment. Go take it. Go do what you have been prepared to do. In the words of my little school coach on Oh, fine. You can't fight no more. You can't fight no more. You're going to run down and bleed a while. You're going to get up and fight some more. Don't you say it when you repeat it after me when I say it. We're going to fight. We're going to fight. You can't fight no more. You can't fight no more. Go lie down. Go lie down. Bleed a while. Bleed a while. Don't get up. Don't get up. Fight some more. Fight some more. You got anger, that's good. You're gonna need it, son. You got aggression, that's even better. You're gonna need that too. But any little two-year-old child can throw a fit. Football is about controlling that anger, harnessing that aggression into a team effort to achieve perfection. Coaches, they cut a player if they think he's not up to snuff. When they think he's hurting the team. This is a public school program. I will never ever cut a player who comes out to play for me but when you put that uniform on that titan uniform you better come to work we will be perfect in every aspect of the game you drop a pass you run a mile you miss a blocking assignment you run a mile you fumble the football and i will break my foot off in your john brown hind parts and then you will run a mile perfection Go to work. Listen to me. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year. But eventually it will subside. And something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. And the problem with most of you, you never felt no pain before. Y'all spoiled. Y'all spoiled. Some of y'all spoiled. Bottom line. Your parents have done everything for you. 
you never had to do nothing for yourself. You're spoiled. We're going to keep it real tonight. Some of you are spoiled brats. People say, Eric, your mother's a tyrant. You're right. She kicked me out. You're right. She's mean, but she developed a man because she put me out there and said, you're going to have to grow up. And some of you have never learned to grow up. And so every time something get hard, you quit, you call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. Somebody said, I don't go home, I feel bad. Go, go through it. You ain't gonna die at the end of pain and success. You're not gonna die because you feel a little pain. I'm not eating like I eat at home. That's why you're about to go to the next level, because if you keep eating like you eat at home, you'll keep being a boy or a girl. It's time to become man, woman. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt. Get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. Listen to me, I'm here to tell you today that you can come here, you can jump up, you can do flips, you can be excited when we give away money. But listen to me, you will never be successful until I don't have to give you a dime to do what you do. You won't be successful until you say I don't need that money. Cause I got it in here. But I'm exactly where I wanted to be because I realized I gotta commit my very being to this thing. I gotta, I gotta breathe it, I gotta eat it, I gotta sleep it. And until you get there, you'll never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours. So work hard and you can have whatever it is you want.